Welcome to the session number 10 for SQL Lite. Let's begin with some SQL Lite functions. Now, SQL Lite has got certain inbuilt functions that are helpful in performing a processing on string or numeric data. So, first function that we are going to see is SQL Lite count function. Now, this function helps to count the number of rows in a given table. So let us see how to practically use this function. So now for example, if you look at the syntax select count asterisk from invoices items. So the value that is returned is 412. So this means the table invoices items contains 412 number of rows. The second aggregating function is SQLite max function. Now this function help us to know the maximum value in a one particular column or you may say the highest value in one particular column. So let us see the practical approach of this. So if we look at the command here, we will be able to see select max total is the name of the column of which we would like to know the highest value from the name of the table invoices item. So once we hit enter, we'll get 25.86 is the highest value in the column total of the table invoices items. Next is SQLite min function. Now SQLite min function does the opposite of max function. So this function gives us the minimum value of the given particular column in the table. So let us find how min function works. So the minimum value of the column total in invoices items is 0 0.99. So this gives the minimum value. Max was giving us the maximum value from the particular column in a particular table. And the next is SQL average function. Now this function calculates the average of the given column in the table. For example, let's see how to use the AVG function. For example, today I want to calculate the averages of the salary of the employees. I can run AVG on that one particular column. So let's see how to do it. So here in this example, let's observe the syntax select average. So we are using a keyword AVG and in the bracket we have mentioned the column name for which we intend to calculate the average from the table invoices items. So now it has returned the value 5.6519 and so on. So this is how we calculate the averages using the SQLite average function. Next is SQLite sum function. Now this function allows us to calculate the sum total of one particular column in a given table. For example, now we will see how to calculate the total of the entire total column in invoices item. So let us see the example of that. Now let us look at the syntax. So select sum and in the bracket, the column for which we intend to calculate the total from invoices items. Now let us see. So it has written the value 23.28.6. This is the sum of the total of the all the values that are available under the column total from the invoices items table. The next function is SQLite ABS function. Now the ABS function returns the absolute value of the argument that is being given to this function. Examples we will see here in the command prompt. So as you can see in this example, select ABS and the argument that is being passed is minus 11. Argument means the value that will be provided to the function. So now we'll see the result. So minus has been removed and absolute value as 11 has been returned. Similarly, if you look at the any other example, for example, select ABS minus 13. Again, the same thing will happen. So it will return the value as 13 as it is the absolute value. The next aggregate function is the upper function. SQLite upper function has the power to convert the strings into the upper case. So for example, if we write select upper and in the bracket the name of the column for which we want strings to go upper case, these strings and the lower case will automatically be converted into the upper case. So let us see the example. So let's look at the syntax. Really, really simple. Select upper 
in the bracket the name of the column and from the table employees so this will convert all the strings in the column title to its uppercase value so as you can see general manager is been uppercase sales manager all the strings are in the uppercase now now let us look at the another example for the same thing same function upper we can say name from media underscore type so as you can see over here all the strings under the column name have been transformed into the uppercase values or uppercase strings similarly we have another function sqlite lower function it does the job of reverse of the upper function for example it will convert the strings in the upper case to the lower case so let us see the example of lower function so let's take the same example for example select lower and in the bracket the same column name name from same table media types and then if we see the entire string has been converted into the lower case so for example media auto file is entirely into the lower case whereas earlier it was into the upper case so this has been changed from upper case to a lower case value using the function lower the next is sqlite length function sqlite length function returns the length of the string any given string so let us see how we can work with sqlite length function let us look at the syntax for a length function to so select length and in the bracket the name of the column for which we intend to calculate the length of the string and from the table name and let us see so it has returned the value the value of the first string is 15 the length of the second is 24 third is 27 fourth is 24 and fifth is 14 so this is inclusive of the spaces that are been given so the last function is sql lite sql lite version function this function returns the value of the function library that is currently been in the use so you can mention this in your reports the version that you have used to generate the report and the working version you are working on with so looking at the syntax select sql lite underscore version and there you have to mention empty parenthesis and what should come as a name has to be mentioned as so what alias would you like to give to the value that will appear so for our example i have taken it as sql lite ver and then hit enter so sql lite ver and the version is 3.1.0